guys, in this video we're going to be introducing the contact process before looking at the conditions for the contact process. We'll end with a summary. The contact process is used industrially in order to make sulfuric acid or H2SO4. Sulfuric acid is a strong acid that's important in lots of other industrial chemical processes. The contact process makes sulfuric acid from sulphur, oxygen and water specifically using oxygen that's found in the air. The contact process happens in three steps. The first of these is a non-reversible reaction between sulphur and oxygen that's present in the air. In this step, one atom of sulphur, which exists naturally as a yellow powder and is therefore a solid, reacts with one molecule of oxygen, which is O2, from the air. This is a non-reversible reaction that produces one molecule of sulphur dioxide which has the chemical formula SO2. We said that sulphur is a solid and oxygen and sulphur dioxide are gases. This sulphur dioxide product then goes on to react further. Sulphur dioxide reacts with more oxygen in a reversible reaction. So we have sulphur dioxide or SO2 reacting with more oxygen from the air in order to produce SO3, which is sulphur trioxide. We can balance this equation by adding twos in front of sulphur dioxide and sulphur trioxide. And as we said, this is a reversible reaction in which all of the reactants and products are gases. This reversible part of the contact process is done under specific conditions. These conditions are a pressure of two atmospheres, so a pressure that is double that of atmospheric pressure. Hi guys! To continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCC chemistry and combined science videos. Just click on the Snap Revised smiley face. Join me today and together let's make chemistry at GCSE a walk in the park.